Hello everyone, happy Friday. Today I want to talk about the Red 2 trailer which was just released today, the Thor 2 trailer which was released earlier this week, the Halo 4 comic which was just announced today, and a little piece of artwork that I've been working on that I want to share. So let's first start with the Red 2 trailer. Um, as we all know, Red is the high octane action comedy. Um, some of you may have seen the first movie, it was actually pretty great. Some people call it mediocre, I really don't give a crap about what those people think. It's a great movie for what it is, you get old people just doing the craziest things, killing, slaughtering, just being the best at what they do. That's all you can really ask for with the movie. So in this second one and in the trailer we see that the stakes are higher. Not only are they on a mission, on another mission, um, but they're actually being hunted by someone who actually poses a threat to them, and it really looks, and it just looks over the top this time. Um, like you, I can already tell, it's going to be bigger than the next one. So now we have Thor two um, in this movie. That th the stakes are higher as Earth, as not only Earth but Asgard are in danger. Um, as we can see in the trailer, he makes his way back to Earth, he finds Jane, he brings her back with him to help him because not only is this um, a fantasy movie or based on mythology, but there's also a mix of science. Um, it's actually pretty great, we can already see that it's over the top, um, there's a lot of action, there's going to be a war. It, it was also great is that we see that um, we finally see some reaction from Lady Sif um, to Jane because we all know that um, Lady Sif, she always has that strong presence, she likes to be the center of attention, she's a warrior, and someone like Jane, she probably just thinks is in the way, or um, blind in Thor. Um, really, with Thor, the problem is that a lot of people don't understand the movie, they think it's supposed to be some crazy action film, um, just because he's a god, or because there are um, other like, movies like it, all of a sudden, you're not going to get that mystery or sense of exploration, but really that's not the case. Um, with Thor with Thor 2, um, it's all about mythology, exploration, and mystery. Um, the movie will show us not just Asgard, but Earth and also Svartheim, I'm going to guess. I really can't pronounce it. Um, and besides that, we also get all nine realms from North Mythology because that's who they rule over. That's their domain. Um, Thor may not step foot in all these worlds, but we can get what we can expect to learn about them in the movie. It is about exploration in mythology, and it, and that's what creates the appeal for those who favor it. You are just as much learning about Nor Norse mythology as anything else, and that is what and that's what some want to see from this film. That's why they favor it. So then next we have um, the Halo 4 comic, which is which has been announced. It's basically called Halo Initiative. Um, I mean, because uh, Halo has been known for having an expansive universe, not only from graphic novels to comics and to movies. Now fans are treated to another comic which helps us dive deeper into their world um so um this halo this halo book um franchise will now be will now jump our course this coming august 14th um this book details the origin of spartan ops um protagonist sarah palmer and her rise from orbital shock drop trooper to spartan commander the cover art which has her standing over a pile of dead bodies holding two pistols and it's really great because um, that really shows how badass she she was even then which is which is um, believable because you see you see how even in the Spartan Ops mode while everyone else is, is um, hauling off all this heavy artillery getting their asses whooped by these um, white knights um, she's basically just handing it to them pop 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 right in the face to every um, Promethean that gets in her way. So the next, here's a little artwork that I did. Um, basically it's me and the Sentinel. I, I kind of got bored. I needed some art motivation. So I started off by drawing it and then took it to Illustrator to outline it. Then when I was done with that, went over to Photoshop to add color, shading, detail, all that kind of stuff. And then there we go. So thanks for stopping by, like, subscribe, 
follow me on my IGN for any of my various blogs, daily blogs. Follow me on Analog Addiction for my news, comic previews, um, reviews, so forth, and or follow me on Twitter. Thanks, Excelsior. See you later.